What's up you money makers welcome back to my channel in this video I'll be talking about ticket symbol HCMC it is OTC traded stock one of our favorite favorite stock very popular stock on this channel so I want to talk about a few things that we noticed this week the first one I want to call out is the short sellers did not win or rather they lost so we have been seeing a high high short volume huge short volume on a day by day basis that I have been noticing so I want to share more information around it we closed the stock uh, stock price at 0.0017 with a 6.25% uh, plus in today's trading session and we closed the week with a very high note and next week could come in with a very positive note as well. So I want to talk about some of the key price indicators and key levels looking at how it was traded this week and where it can go next week in a short term and in the interim. We will also review the price level and the indicators including RSI and MACD in this video. On the top of that, I want to share one of the big, big catalysts that could potentially bring in Healthier Choices Management Corp up to the 0.0065 levels that we had seen in the past. The company has been doing pretty good. They have been trying to identify more and more avenues to ramp up the revenue and what we have been seeing in terms of the revenue even though with the pandemic in Q4 the revenue was 3.23 million in Q3 the revenue was pretty flat as well compared to Q4 3.35 million Q2 3.31 million and in Q1 it was 4 million now comparatively their net income is negative but they have been expanding this is a pretty small company with a very small market cap with 495 million and the stock is trading at pretty micro cap level as well 0.0 0017. Now this week around there were a few things were happening. Now let's take a look before we go ahead and uh, look at the volume. Look, the volume today was 3.61 billion which is above the volume of 3.15 billion which is a good thing because in HCMC and some of the other stock especially the penny stock market when the stock market went up as you can see right here the Nasdaq was up one and a half percent almost and Dow Jones was up 0.67 percent. So it was a pretty good green day after after the sell-off that we had seen yesterday and some of the concerns around the capital gain text but what I want to show you as well is the short volume so I'm looking at Fintel right here I do not really have a premium account or anything but let's take a look because I saw the updated numbers today this number is as of today now once again this is OTC trade stock so it might be a little bit of delay and this number might be updated in a little bit but let's take a look this is giving us a right pointers as to what could happen next week if you notice the on on 19th the short volume was pretty high 3.5 billion with the short volume ratio of 172.90 which is a very very huge short volume ratio and short volume number of shares as well and if you notice on 20th the stock price was down let's take a look once again right here on the average price point uh, so looking at 19th the price was 0.0017 at as the low so precisely what we see today as the closing price right here 0.0017 and the high was 0.0020 now what happened at this price point there was a huge short volume and they tried to short this uh, the stock and try to bring it down but what happened on 20th the stock price was it did go down 0.0013 but not because of the short volume the stock went down because of the company announcement take a look right here on April 20th the company announced the they filed the registration of uh, the registration statement for rights offering exclusively for the stockholders and definitely there were some concerns in the market and people started selling the stock and it went to 0.0013 now if you take a look at my video that I did on that day do not to worry about because these rights are going to probably not cause a bigger dip in terms of the price point yes there will be a dip because there is some concern people may take uh, profit healthy profit booking because people might have bought the stock at 0.0009 levels and many of us did buy that as well now looking at it this is this turned out to be not a bad thing but on the top the company revealed the data that there are 400,000 shareholders holding its CMC pretty strong on the top of that the company also announced that they are going to give around 25% discount for the existing sh shareholders these common stocks are going to be only purchased by existing shareholders 
on the top of that the company also mentioned that there are no plans of reverse uh, splitting right at the moment and the investor should not worry about they'll ask for per, uh, they'll follow the process and it has to be approved uh, by 50 percent of the common stockholders before before they do the reverse splitting so this worked in comp in shareholders favor now if anyone wants to buy as an existing shareholders they have a process put in place but what i'm trying to focus at is it this was announced on 20th april and we saw a dip into the price 0.0013 on 20th april and there was a pretty high short volume that day as well 1.7 billion which was once again a massive short volume so if you take a look for two days total it is more than 5.25 billion shares were shorted in terms of the short volume which is massive now take a look what happened the next day after that there were some negative and some concerns about hcmc stock in general but the stock was flat as you can take a look but on the contrary it it made a higher low so from 0 0.0013 the low next day was 0 0.0014 which is kind of a pause and it ended on a positive note as well so take a look once again the uh, the short volume on that day was half a billion and the day after on 22nd the short volume was close to 2 billion and today as well the short volume was 1.2 billion now take a look on 22nd when the volume overall volume for the uh, for the stock in general during the trading day was pretty low there was 500 uh, short volume ratio which is pretty high in my opinion and we have seen high short volume causes the spike in short uh, in in the short in the interim and in the short term for the stock now what happened here with its cmc it did make a newer highs higher lows as well and newer highs compared to what we saw at 0.0013 levels it went all the way to 0.0018 closed at 0.0016 and once again today it did not even go to yesterday's low it made another high uh, higher low 0.0015 and it closed at 00, 0 0.0017 now why this is important is because now we are running about the average volume on a daily basis right now 3.61 billion if the volume continues the stock tends to go higher and higher we have seen this for hcmc in the past as well now let's take a look once again at this chart we had experienced the highest level of 0 0.0065 0 0.0654 and these were two high levels and since then there was a market sell-off there were some other issues going on with hcmc and the stock dipped to all the way to 0 0.0009 and since then the stock almost doubled up from the low so let's take a look right here 0 0.0019 now the stock had a pretty good resistance at 0 0.0020 it did try that level a couple of times but it could not pass let's take a look right here 0 0.0020 it went to 0 0.0013 once again it tried 0 0.0020 and so this is going to be a pretty good resistance price point for HCMC it happened in the past as well right here it tried to cross 0 0.0019 almost 0 0.0010 but it could not it retreated and then went back it shot back up and when it started dropping it dropped below 0 0.002 levels now let's take a look at the RSI the way it is trading right now the RSI is 57 very healthy RSI not overbought not an oversold even though now one thing I want to mention is there's a green big green bar right here that that means there is a big big buying happening at this price point that can push the stock hopefully further above 0 0.0020 levels because the shorts will have to clear that position as well now let's take a look at the blue line right here the MACD the MACD looks pretty healthy to me as well it is about the orange line which is the indicator that suggests that the stock may have more run up in next week let's take a look at the five days how the stock was traded it did go all the way to 0 0.0020 level if you started start looking at it which is when the short volume started spiking up right here the red Red bar and the stock went back down to 0 0.0017 level on 20th which is when the company announced the rights offering and then there were some concerns as well and the stock went all the way to 0 0.0013 level but after that the stock quickly got back up there is a huge buying that started happening right here at 0 0.0016 level and which we had already seen today once again as well with the RSI of 54 and a good looking MACD so in my opinion if the stock stays above about 0 0.0014 
four level. So one four level works as a support for HCMC right at this point. And the resistance for HCMC is 0 0.0020. If it crosses 0 0.0020, it can run up all the way up to right here, 0 0.0027 actually. Uh, to, to seven, I'm not able to see that in my graph because of the one day interval. But the next support level for HCMC is 0 0.0027. If it crosses 0 0.0020 and stays and closes about that price point, I just wanted to share this information with you. One of the big, big catalysts though that can bring this stock price to 0 0.0065 level is the dismissal motion to, for dismissal that PM has already filed a response back for its CMC lawsuit that is going on for the infringement of, I, of IQOS product. There is a big situation going on with the combustion and they're trying to figure out how the combustion process works, whether or not a IQOS is infringing the patent that is filed by HCMC. Philip Morris has filed the motion to dismiss the entire case. But think about it. If there were no merits, why the case is the, law, the lawsuit is still pending since November 30th. Now, in my honest opinion, if the judge decides to not grant the dismissal, if they do not follow up or if they reject the dismissal to mo motion to dismiss, in other words, if the case goes on floor, on trial, that is going to cause a big, big spike into HCMC stock price. And we may see once again 0 0.0065 levels because of the hope, because there is a tremendous potential as to how the settlement can happen. Think about it. HCMC has a very small market cap of 495 million US dollars. Now, if they settle this lawsuit, let's say for 500 million, it doubles up. It is more than double of their market cap at this point. Now, there, uh, there are some rumors around it could be up to $1 billion. I do not honestly know what the number could be, but what I can say, it's going to be a substantial number for its CMC because Philip Morris has invested more than $3 billion into IQOS products. They have millions of users on a daily basis that use IQOS products so they cannot afford to take that back out of the market and they will have to settle somehow either they will have to win the lawsuit which seems like not really doable if they were able to do it they would have done everything that they could or they can come into settlement and work with HCMC to figure things out it's a one-time settlement lump sum settlement royalty deal patent acquisition, so on and so forth. But that is going to be pretty sizable considering the market cap of HCMC. Now let's take a look how it's going to work next week. If there is uh, there is a sizable volume, if the volume sustains, if the volume is definitely about 3.15 billion, which is above than the average volume, in my opinion, based on the technical pointers, the stock should go in the positive direction. If it crosses 0 0.0020 and stays above that and close is about that there will be a next price point 0.0029 that we will be able to also see thanks for watching like share and subscribe your like is very much appreciated so we can share this information with more and more people give me a like for hcmc thanks guys for watching i'll see you in the next video